Good morning everybody. I want to make this video here in case anybody else that has Windows Movie Maker. Um, this may help them out. Thanks to my good friend Jim Asbell. I am able to make text on a video similar to what Doug uh, Moslack has been doing with his video pad program. Jim has pointed out how to do it on Windows Movie Maker. So unfortunately I'm going to have to hold the camera so I'm going to try to be steady with it and I'll show you if I can remember the steps that Jim told me to go through. We will select a photo and what better photo or video but we're doing it in a photo what better than John from Arkansas hello there John okay now what you want to do and what I usually do on the video is I click on comment or caption sorry eyesight's shot you know that okay this is what I usually do all right this is how I do it but I want to show you what John should, did I highlight that I make that bold I go over here and get text which in this case is yellow okay then I go down to the keyboard and uh, let's say T E S T I N G testing. Now, what the hell? Try it again. T. Okay, there it is. E S T I N G. And she. Yes, that's how I type. Okay, testing. Now let's bring that up a little bit by way of this here. Okay. Now, normally I would take that, like if I'm doing a video and I'm trying to, let's say I said, uh, um, A mistake in the video let's say I always say I mentioned capacitor and I meant to say resistor okay and I'm flapping along so what I'll do is I'll find a place on the video where the lettering will show up best and that would be right here okay now we take it a step further and we go over here these two A's I saw them I never knew what they were for before so this is what John told me to do all right outline there is no outline okay all right let's hit medium all right Okay. Let's see. That didn't work. That was supposed to that was supposed to show a background. All right, let's go over here again. Let's try that. There it is. Okay. All right. Now it's supposed to be a background. I'm sorry. I'm trying to move this. I can't see the four arrows. All right. Let's say. Let's say you wanted it. Well, up there. All right. All right. You can see that now. See. You see. You see how that is right there. 
Okay. So I can put this anywhere. I have to click in the picture to take that away. See how that comes out? All right. And it's all done with this. This one is a bar. Let's let's make it uh, let's make it large. Let's see extra thick. Let's see what that does. All right. You see the word testing right there. All right. So we're going to take it one step further here. And I gotta have put. I gotta put the camera down so I can show you. I'm gonna put text across here on the whole video and see what it looks like. Okay. Now, the way I've been doing it, you can see not all the letters show because the background. Okay. Now, let me click anywhere on the video here, and it shows up now. This is John. He is my student. He learned how to flap from one of the best flappers, me. Okay, well, this is how you do it. It's all done up through here. This is something I did not know. I want to thank John from... No, I don't want to thank John. John was just the guinea pig on this. I want to thank Jim Asbell. He gave me a phone call, and he ex walked me right through it. Thank you very much, Jim Asbell. We appreciate it, and I hope that helps others. Who needs all these other complicated programs when all the while you can do it right here? Thank you, Jim.